that's very sweet and yummy, but also that whole ritual of going out to the garden, grabbing them, coming inside, cutting them in half and scooping them out. There's just something just so fun and lovely about that. Scooping out your fijos is a time-honoured Kiwi tradition, but if you've got a tree, you know there comes a time when there are just too many to scoop. And you can't have crumble every night. There must be another way. So many ways that you can use fijos, and what I really like is that they taste really good with things that are coming into season right now, like citrus. First up, freeze them. We've been making a really simple homemade nice cream, so frozen bananas with frozen fijoas, and then you just throw it in the blender, and it's the most wonderful frozen treat, super healthy. Get a stew going. Stewed fijoa is just the best. It can sort of jazz up a really boring breakfast. You can have any old cereal and stewed fijoa is gonna make it amazing. Experiment with savory. It's great in a salsa. So dicing up that fresh fijoa with red onion and coriander, lime juice, a bit of chili, and that would be so good on fish, like maybe in fish tacos or chicken. That mix of sweet and savory is really good. Use the skin too. So fijoa fizz is a really cool idea. It's a really simple, kind of old-fashioned fermented soda. So you're going to take your fijoa skins and pop it with some water and some sugar and leave that to naturally ferment. And you're going to end up with just this lovely, fresh-tasting, homemade drink that is yeah, just another way to extend using this thing that we love so much. And it's a really good one with kids because they get to watch that transformation. What's that? You've still got some left? Put them in your baking, any baking at all. They add really lovely moisture through anything, so definitely pancakes, definitely muffins, loaves, cakes, um, fruit slices. Sort of the sky's the limit. Uh, because it's such a versatile fruit, because it's got that moisture, sweetness, all of those things you want when you're baking. And just for good measure, the perfect crumble. I like a crumble with a bit of texture, so shredded coconut, maybe some seeds, maybe some roughly chopped almonds or nuts through it so that you've got really good texture to offset that soft sweetness of the fruit. That's just perfect to me. Oh, wow, great ideas. Thanks, Kelly Gibney. And can we all just enjoy some positive press for the Fiji? Every time the Fiji are is discussed on this show, these two have got to screw their noses up and tell all of New Zealand how little they like those fruits. Just, they don't look right. You no, just cut them open and it's like, is it a fruit or a squirrel's yeah, we've ovaries? Heard it, we've, heard it all be, we've heard it all before, Jeremy. New Zealanders love Fijos. This is unrepresentative. Your no. I don't think you can speak slag. for all of New Zealand. No. Yeah. What? Add a third, by the way, on this desk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> can I ask our lovely studio audience oh, who are in tonight, put your hands up if you love Fijos, please. Yeah. All of New Zealand loves the Fijos. Whoa, 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 there's a few on our team. Hands there's up if you don't. There's a few on our team. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. They're okay. also brown. At least 10% of you. <laughs> <laughs> they also brown faster than yeah. any other fruit. So when people put them on the top of like pavlova, it looks like someone's just put four yeah, yeah. lurgies on top. <laughs> Look, eat them fast before they go brown. Gobble, gobble, Gross. gobble. Yeah. I will try that fermenting though. Mm -hmm. <laughs>